okay so the first few steps are pretty repetitive they're pretty basic the whole way through you guys already know that and if you don't know that you can go ahead and watch my older videos but what i went ahead and did was molded her cap down set her under the dryer allowed it to mold down to her head get hard put makeup on it to blend it in with her skin and now i'm just taking some <laughs> bowl hold and putting it around the very beginning of her cap everyone has their own way of doing things but when i tell you guys that the lace does not lift up when I do the baby hair with the mousse. This is what I mean by you're probably not using enough glue. When I speak in terms of using enough glue, I'm not talking about layers. I'm talking about the width from where her hairline will lay to where the cap is. Like you see how wide of a perimeter, like a wide of a width that that is. <laughs> Like, that's what I mean when I say you're probably not using enough glue. That's why your lace is lifting up so much when you put the mousse down. I want to get into this wig, though. Like, this lace is really, really thin. It's really thin like flexible and it blends so well with her skin even though we're not even to the finish line yet but you got you guys will see that throughout the video and i will zoom in and let you guys see and explain so you can feel where i'm coming from and you can see where i'm coming from When I do this step, I use the blow dryer on heat or warm. It all depends on your blow dryer settings and how hot your blow dryer can actually get. You just don't want to do it to where it's too hot for you or too hot for your client and it's burning them. And most of the time, you're going to go ahead and cut around the ear because the lace will come down a little too far over your head or over your client's head. Sometimes I use shears and sometimes, most of the time, I use the eyebrow razor to cut the excess lace off just because it gives a seamless cut. And like I said, this lace is everything. Like the way it melts, the way it's blended in with her skin and I haven't even done the melting process yet. This is amazing. And the information for this wig will be in the description box and underneath in my comments as a pinned comment. I just want you guys to get into this. But when you see the curls on this, honey, just... I'm gonna zoom in one more time just so y'all can see how melted this lace is, okay? And right now I'm just using my Fluff Stuff Styling Foam. Yes, honey, my brand's doing big things. <laughs> I'm just playing, but yes, this is my Fluff Stuff Styling Foam and you guys are raving about it. You love it, I love it too. It does wonders, it, is, it smells so good. But what I'm doing, Another trick I want to tell you guys, the more foam wrap, mousse, whatever you want to call it that you use, the easier it'll be to form your baby hair. But like I said, you don't want to be rough. You don't want to force the baby hair. You don't want to smush, grind, and wind the lace. Like you just want to do it real smooth, real easy, and just form them. Once you form them, you can go ahead and put your satin silk wrap on or you can use the paper strips, whatever is comfortable for you. But these, what, these are what I call my natural baby hair. Like if they want baby hair, but they don't want to be too extra, this is what I would do for them. This is a 24 inch body wave lace front wig from Ally Pearl. And it's amazing. I just want you guys to know that. And the most exciting part of all, dun dun dun, magic. Like, oh my God, magic, magical. That's just, ugh. It never gets old once you take that wrap off. It's just amazing. The knots do not come bleach, but the hairline was pre-plucked. This tool right here is always gonna be your BFF, whether you're doing laces or natural hair. The hot comb is always going to be your BFF, I'm telling you.
And this right here is my Frizz Bully Wax Stick. And I'm just going to let y'all see what it does. Like, I know what it does. I can tell you guys what it does. I'm still going to tell you. But I want you guys to see the difference. It tames flyaway hairs. And it also acts as a heat protectant. And it molds the hair without having a super hard mold. Instead of using, you know, holding spray, you can use the wax stick. And I'm just taking my Baby Liss, Baby Liss, Baby Bliss, however you say it. <laughs> taking my um prima 3000 3100 i think and just curling my client's head and i also want to show you guys the importance of layers what i was doing before was without layers and what i'm doing now is creating the layers and i wanted to show you guys the huge importance of having layers And by the way, before y'all try to come for me, because I know it might be some smart Alex in the comments. Before y'all try to come for me about my nails, honey, these are hardworking hands, okay? One of the best tricks in the book when it comes down to curls, especially body curls, after you curl the hair, make sure you go ahead and pin curl it. Wait until you're done with the whole head and then take the pins out and boom, your curls are going to fall so flawlessly. Just look at that. And I just want to speak on how well this hair how good this hair is thank you Ali pearl because honey these curls are popping most of the time when i get hair from companies the curls do not hold they won't even like do this when it comes down to the layers watch this if it did not have layers it would not do this it would not fall this way look how amazing that looks and that about sums it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon. Until next time. Cute. Erica, I'm gonna my hair. I'm so excited.